All right, guys, today is Tuesday and you are going to build a simple machine today. Now, Miss Molly has blocks that she's going to use and I did take them from the classroom. So look around your house to find some items that can make a simple machine. And the simple machine that we are going to make is a ramp, okay? So I'm gonna see which way it works the best. I'm gonna take this one and it's kind of tr trial and error. Now, it looks like a ramp but I don't think it's actually going to work the way I want it to. I think it's too flat. Remember, a ramp starts off kind of flat and then it goes down. So let's find something else. Ooh, this one, I could do something like this. That would be a ramp. That's okay, so that works. That's one of my ramps and I think I might I'm not gonna use that one, that one's too big for what I wanna do. But I think my second ramp, I'll use the rectangular prism block and a triangle block, because that has the down part, okay? So do you see how it starts off really flat and then it goes down? And the same thing with this one. This top part is flat and then it goes down and that's a ramp, okay? So look around your house. Blocks are probably the easiest, but you might be able to build one with Legos, okay? Or if you have other items around, you can use those as well. Now, Miss Molly has some items that we're gonna test out. We're gonna see if these items will roll down our ramp, okay? So first up is a tennis ball. And as you can see, the tennis ball has seen better days. All right, so I'm gonna place it by the edge. Oh, and the ball went down. Let's see if it goes down this one. I'm trying not to push it, but it does, it goes down. Okay, my next item is a zebra. Now, without using a force, like a push or a pull, my zebra is not going to go anywhere. Let's test it on this one. Oh, this one he might, cause he's not, no, he's not going anywhere on that one either. But. If I push my zebra, he goes down. So the zebra needed a push, which is a type of force to go down. All right, my next item is a glue stick, okay? And I'm going to test it two different ways. If I go like that, if I have it standing up, is it going to go anywhere? It's not. However, if I put it on its side, chances are, oop, the wind's blowing, it'll go down the ramp, okay? All right. And again, I kind of had to push it to get going. So that was the force I used for the glue stick to go down the ramp. All right, my next item is this half circle. It's flat. So I wonder if flat things will go down a ramp. Well, there we go. And even if I push it, it's not going anywhere really, unless I push it really hard, okay? So flatter things have a harder time going down without a force, without a push down the ramp. All right, next up, I have a pencil. All right, now the pencil 
is round. So chances are, with a very light push, it should go down the ramp, and it did. I'll try this one just to make sure. Oh, and it went down for that one as well. All right, what else do I have? I have a teddy bear clip. Now looking at it, it's kind of roundish, kind of flat. So let's see if it will go down the ramp without Miss Molly pushing it. No, it's not going down the ramp, is it? If I push it, will it? Oh, it goes down slowly. All right, let's test this ramp. By itself, it's not doing anything. But if I give it a push, it goes down the ramp. All right, I have oh, a popsicle stick. Now, looking at the popsicle stick, it is flat, 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 which I think will have a hard time going down the ramp because there's nothing, even if I push it, I don't think it's gonna go very far. Yeah, even with a push, it doesn't go very far, okay? And that's because it's flat. Rounder things, like the pencil, since it's round, it's easier to go down the ramp. Let's test this one. I don't know. Ooh, that one went a little bit more, but I think that's because it's angled higher. This ramp angle is higher, and this one is lower. All right, and I have one more to test. I have a crayon. Now again, it's round, so chances are that it will roll down without any help or very little help. If I give it, oh there goes switch. I give it a light. Oops, well it did go down, it did go down how I wanted it to, but it did with a light push, it went down. Let's test our other ramp. So your job is to build a ramp. I made two, you only have to make one. But to build a ramp, because a ramp is a simple machine, okay? Think about the ramp that we have at school by Miss Rachel's door, right? It's easy to go down because it's angled going down. So, and I think if we rolled a ball down Miss Rachel's ramp, it would go really fast and if we try to push, or I guess push a book down the ramp, it would go slow because the book is flat. Objects that are round are going to be easier to go down a ramp. Now I have a question for you. What do you think would be easier? to roll up the ramp or to roll down the ramp, okay? So when you're doing your project, I want you to think about that. Which would be easier, to roll up the ramp or to roll down the ramp? All right, I'll see you guys soon.